police roll call in Chicago's South Side. This shift will take these men and women to some of the most dangerous streets in America, where gangs and guns rule. The four people shot at 73rd in um, Laughlin the other day, uh, involving the Brick Squad. The offenders are the S-dubs. But their first stops are the local primary schools. Students, I need you to be safe. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And as always, we love you here at Curry School of Excellence. Davis to Mr. R, I'm doing a quick perimeter check. Before any child can be allowed off the premises, the dean of Curtis Elementary must perform a perimeter sweep. Police patrol the streets outside. Armed officers line the children's way home. This daily operation is called safe passage. It's the city's attempt to stop school children being shot. A guns are concerned for you as a parent? Yes. <laughs> in what way? Uh, like sometimes you will hear them early in the morning or whatever, and I'll be like, oh my you God. You gunshots? Yes, in the morning time, like before school hours for them. That worries me too. I don't want nothing to happen concerning that. So that's a big issue for me as well. I think that we need more police patrol in the area. These streets are dominated by a huge network of warring gangs and cliques. Guns are a way of life. I mean, it's a huge challenge. Year in and year out, the Chicago Police Department recovers more guns than any other major city in the country. Three times more than Los Angeles, nine times more than the state of New York. Until we can get stricter gun laws on the books and tougher penalties for possessing a handgun, we're going to continue to fight that uphill battle. So why are these guns attractive to gang members? Well, number one, uh, high capacity is what they're looking for. Current laws mean one person could walk into this shop, buy 10 guns and then hand them out to their friends. There's no official way of tracking how so many guns are getting onto Chicago's streets. Underground routes include robbery of gun stores. They may be armed, maybe they're pulling a hood over their head. You know, that's, that's a big alarm if somebody's coming in with a hood on their head. Being a cop in Chicago has always been a dangerous job. Over the decades, hundreds of officers have died from gunshot wounds. But they insist that things are getting better. The next official FBI figures will be a big test. The murder capital title is one they can't wait to lose. Amanda Walker, Sky News, Chicago.